Hello, Karen here with this month's um, challenge, which is to scrap on black cardstock. Out of choice, I probably would only scrap on white or black cardstock, but some of the other design teams I'm on push me out of my comfort zone and make me use different colours, and usually I quite like the result. So this uh, is what I was inspired by. It's um, a, a layout that's on the Paper Artsy blog but it isn't by the people at Paper Artsy they haven't linked to the original um, designer but what I really liked about this one is the way that the designer has used paint and gesso to make the photograph part of the backing paper almost so that's what I'm ultimately going to try to achieve so I have this photograph of my daughter um, and what I'm planning to do some sort of beigey brown on this side and maybe some pinks and greens on that side hopefully to blend it in uh, in addition to that I've pulled out lots of bits and pieces um, which I may or may not use I've got white stays on ink and several stamps with butterflies And some splashes. I might not use the splashes. Uh, I have scraps of paper from various kinds of card ranges that are blue. I have some templates, stickers, and some embellishment packs from kits that I've um, had but not actually done. And some bits and pieces also from another Kaiser Craft range. So let's just see how it goes. So I've got some gesso and it's only cheap gesso from um, the works. I'm just going to spread some where I've drawn a picture of where my photo is going to be. So I've got a little bit of orange and a little bit of brown to try and make a colour similar to the tree. an ordinary painter's paintbrush. I'm just going to While my gesso was drying, I thought I'd make up some clusters to go at the top and bottom of my page with the bits that I'd got.
So these are my finished clusters for the top and bottom of my page. Um, I've added an extra sticker and a bit of twine to the top of the tag. And on this one I've added a couple of extra stickers. Next I'm going to use this stencil to add a little bit of texture paste. So I have this strip of butterflies and I'm going to cut them out and start adding them to my page. Last thing I'm going to do is cover some of the splodges up with some stamped butterflies um, which I've got white stays on ink. So this is my finished layout. Um, I do like it but I'm disappointed with how much the card has walked. I hadn't anticipated that it would walk quite so much and also I'm a bit disappointed with how much I've smudged it but as a layout that's got a lot of mixed media on from someone who doesn't normally do mixed media I am quite pleased with it. There's going to be lots more black cardstock layouts coming up on the blog over the next few days and also there are many that have been on the blog already so if you're interested in how we've interpreted this month's challenge why don't you pop over to the blog and have a look at what the other ladies have done.